God put this on my heart and wanted me to let you know that life has a series of ups and downs. If I looked at my life and examined my life, I could see that it was a never no straight ramp up. It would go up and down, up and down, up and down. And if I examined it, I would notice there was few little things that I would do day in and day out that would cause me to go up. And then once I was up, I would stop doing those things and I would begin to go down. When I was down, and I mean down, if average was right here, struggling's right here, and success is right here. There's points in my life when I was down here. And when I was down here, I would start doing things different. I would get closer to God. I would start praying more. I would stop drinking alcohol. I would go to church more. I would be more humble. I'd be uh, just a better person, a better all around person. And then as I would start to come up, I would forget it was those little things that I was doing day in and day out that are causing me to come up. And I would think it was my artistic ability or my work ethic or my music or me doing more sales or more shows or more verses or more features. But it really, it was the little things that I was doing day in and day out that was causing me to come up. And then when I came up and would get right above average, instead of keeping it going and going all the way to the top, I would stop doing those things that was causing me to come up. I would start drinking more alcohol. I would stop praying. I would stop reading. Just stop being that good person that I was when I was coming up, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, little by little, the money would start going right back down. My bank account would start going down. The sales would stop coming in everything would slow up and then I'd be right back where I was when I started and this happened for years for the last 15 20 years of my life I would go through this pattern up and down up and down up and down at the time when it was happening I would just chalk it up to oh that's just how the business is it's just highs and lows there's peaks and valleys in this business I should just save more money when I'm up but that's not what it is it's when I'm low I start changing my daily routine. I stop hanging around people. I would spend too much time in the studio just smoking, not really doing nothing, just partying really in the studio, chilling, talking about what's on uh, World Star Hip Hop today. You know what I'm saying? Not really focused on business. If I could just, cause I'm speaking for myself, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what anybody else's life like, but I bet you, if you, could do these few little things day in and day out and keep it up more than 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. See, people want want a quick change and a quick fix. But if they could really put the work in on work on themselves for longer than 30, 60, 90 days, they will see changes and results will happen. But if they stop doing these things that have brought these results to flourish, then they're just gonna go back to right where they started. And I'm a prime example of that because that's how my whole life has been. My whole adult life has been like that. So now when I told you I was starting this 90 day challenge to work on myself at the beginning of this year and I'm bringing y'all with me, I was examining my life and I noticed the pattern. So on my way to the top, I'm gonna bring y'all with me and I'm gonna let y'all know all the ins and the outs of the keys to success, man. I'm trying to give y'all the keys to success and how to get it and how to keep it. You know what I'm saying? It's the little things that matter. The little things that you do day in and day out. You know what I'm saying? Be a better person. Be more humble. You know what I'm saying? Talk to God more. Stop putting so much toxins and poisons in your body. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's a pattern that I've noticed in my life. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And I believe when I'm up, I got it all figured out and I got it together and I don't need no help. And I did it all on my own, you know what I'm saying? And then it falls right through my fingertips and I end it right back on my ass. <laughs> it's funny how God shows you who's in charge.